Hi guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. So uh, I know the shooting location is different because I am in my new home. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you must be knowing that all this while I was moving to this new house and it's been a very emotional journey. And yeah, I, I, I am now getting settled in this apartment, but still I have got loads of things to unpack. Yes, there's a new excitement that, you know, I need to uh, spice up this space and just make it um, feel more like home. Before we get started, I want you guys to know that this video has been kindly sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, dip in existing passions and get lost in creativity. There are so many class topics that I personally love. Currently, I have been learning cookie decorating for beginners, create incredible edible art. Honestly, I love this class as I got to learn how to decorate uh, cookies and cakes smoothly and neatly. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Before I begin with the house tour, I want to give you guys few details about this apartment. So we are currently living in East London and this apartment is two bedroom apartment and yeah, uh, it's a brand new apartment and I really love it. Now let's begin with the empty house tour. This is the entrance and I love how there's so much of space at the entryway. I am so looking forward to decorate this space. There's also a washer and dryer that was provided by our landlord. And then let's move into the apartment. On the right hand side, there's a master bedroom. Uh, all these um, bed and uh, the side tables came with the apartment and the mattress as well. This is a brand new build. And I love how the ceiling to floor windows provide all the light during the daytime. There's also a wardrobe. It's a bit smaller than what I thought. This is the ensuite bathroom. There's a shower space and no tub in this bathroom. Now moving forward, on the left hand side there is this uh, big bathroom. It is a common bathroom and um, I really love it as there is a bathtub. <laughs> this is the main space. I love it and there is a big balcony as you can see. I also love the kitchen area. It has got loads of cabinets. And here's the dining area and um, yeah, this was provided by a landlord, all these furnitures that you would see, even the sofa and the reading table, TV stand, center table, everything. This is the second bedroom, it's right behind the dining area. It is smaller than the master bedroom obviously but yes it's still spacious that's what we love about this apartment there's also chest of drawers and a wardrobe um, yeah that's it I hope you guys like the house tour now I will move on with the moving tips that I wanted to share with you so my number one moving out tip would be know which paint was used in your apartment or in your house now this might sound quite silly but uh, it was quite helpful in our case we posted on our apartments Facebook group uh, what paint was used in the apartment or you can also know it from your property manager or landlord beforehand obviously and uh, you can buy a a jar of that paint and uh, retouch the wall uh, where you find few scratches or you know where you think the, the paint is peeling off because the thing is the landlord has a security deposit and if you are moving out he has every right to inspect all the corners of the house and if he finds a minute scratch he would deduct the amount from your security deposit and we saved a lot of money that way because we, we somehow managed to cover it up. So yes, I hope this tip will be helpful for you in the future. So my number second moving out tip would be choose a reliable moving service. We chose Fantastic Services. Uh, this is not sponsored by them, but we really like their service. They were very careful with paintings and our furniture and uh, wrapped it up really well. Most of the things were um, packed by me and said. So we, we bought 
few cartons online uh, and uh, we we started packing really early and all the fragile items were packed by them so uh, on the day when we were moving out we kept few fragile things that needed to be packed by professionals and uh, they did a very good job and none of the things got any kind of scratch or it got broken throughout the moving process so yeah we really love their service talking about cartons and moving boxes packing boxes i would say it's really important that you start collecting it early uh, every building has got the, its own recycling area where you will find loads of cartons that has been discarded by your neighbors i i think it's it's the best and the cheapest way to save some money um, but yes you can also buy online online it's quite expensive and um, i would say start early and start you know looking for all the cartons that your neighbors want to discard or if you have any cartons try to keep it in your store room and it it might come handy anytime and that's what i would highly recommend you guys to do because online prices are quite high at the end of your tenancy you you have to get your apartment cleaned like every single area needs to be cleaned from oven to hob to chimney everything and um, there's a reliable company uh, called fantastic services again and uh, we really love their service when it comes to cleaning again it's not sponsored we really like the our uh, cleaned apartment and the thing is the more clean your apartment is the better it is now you'll ask me why so as i told you security deposit if you want to save on your security deposit make sure that uh, you know the company is reliable so that it cleans really well and when the property manager comes for inspection they don't really find any problems in your apartment because it's super clean they won't deduct any money so my final tip would be for when you are moving into the apartment and not for when you are moving out of the apartment now the thing is when you are moving into the apartment the first week is very important if you find any minor scratch in the apartment whether it's a scratch on the floor or table or if the bathroom isn't clean enough i mean if there is any kind of mold anything you have to make sure that you make a document take pictures and send it to your property manager and keep it safe with you so when you move out of the apartment if they find scratches on the floor and if they tell you that you know we are going to deduct the money because this is your fault you can show this as an evidence to them that this has been in the apartment right when we moved in so that was it guys i hope you guys like this video if you did then give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you so much guys for watching it bye for now